And today we got a hotfix 4.1.2 for Warmer 3, Tolora Warmer 3. Uh, it's not a big change overall, so there are a ton of lists over here. I have gone through every single of them. So like uh, minor changes, but uh, there's so many fixes over here, uh, which I'll get into in a moment. Like, so there are so many fixes happening over here. The main thing, uh, main concern for this uh, patch is Medisa's uh, Missile Reflector over here. So uh, her ability, so I don't use uh, Medisa, so I don't play as Dark Girls mostly. So this is the biggest spot for this uh, patch, uh, as, far as, I, uh, as far as I heard anyway. So instead of uh, going for a straight at attack, she will lean back and try to shoot far away. I'm not sure how it works anyway. Hopefully, yeah, I think it will be bad. From the looks of it, it looks like it will be ba bad again. So I'm not really sure. Let me know in the comments below how you how you see these changes to Medizor take into effect or not. Also, if we if it is if it works well or not. So uh, it's like a added penetration to the projectile up to three small entities. So it will like a go through three units maybe so that's how it looks like anyway so now they have changed the uh, background uh corresponding music so if you have a background a specific background it will give you specific music instead of uh, uh the base one and now we have a uh, vault of nagash building so in a uh, black of nagash settlement of nagash nagash uh, yeah i don't know how to pronounce nagash so far yeah uh so vampire for it's a uh, vampire coaster okay the main thing for which i read through this one here there are so many in my playthrough on my ongoing playthrough for some of my campaigns late campaigns mostly so i see a lot of a uh, lot of uh landmark buildings from other faction which are applied to my own faction i wanted a change for the one but that seems to be the uh, that doesn't seems to be happening in this patch anyway i have seen that one in uh some of my campaigns maybe i'll try to upload a video for that one so it doesn't belong to my the faction which i'm playing right now but it kind of uh applies to the uh, applies to my faction whenever i captured a uh, uh landmark building which does have uh, some specific uh buildings related to other factions so let me know in the comments below you have encoded it or not but i have been encoding in a couple of my campaigns in a way so I haven't started any new campaigns. So those are my from my previous campaign. The one campaign which I did for 4.1.1 patch is the one with the live stream which I live streamed. Uh, this is a right campaign. Apart from that, I haven't played any of the uh, new campaigns. So we'll we'll see how it goes. So, so there is a uh, change for Sothrol. Uh, Sothrol, uh, the Ever Watcher. He does have lower of metal and he will be ch uh, instead of a regular lord. So a lot of change. He will be uh, depleted as an exalted lord of change. And then I assume it is a here, uh, Behemoth Gorgon in it is kind of on going for Demon Prin uh, Prince Faction, all the other st stuff over here, and Lilith Blessing for uh, was fixed an issue where the Lilith Blessing where stance icon was showing a very large tooltip on the pre battle screen. I'm not sure, but I have played some uh, campaign with the uh, Lilith Blessing, I'm not entirely sure. And also uh, uh, the Dra uh, Draco one, <coughs> the main intelligence uh, uh, had no usable effects for Draco, so they uh, have fixed that one. And then we have uh, Malekith and Morathi, uh, what's that one, rights are uh, doubled. Now it will be uh, showed as intentional. And then we have magic item drops were uh, dropped in every battle rather than a random chance. So I'm not just sure about this one either. So on my playthrough, so the uh, like a continuation of my campaigns and also from the live stream, I haven't gotten any uh, uh, like magic items for every battle. So I have done so many battles on the live stream. I don't think I got uh, that many uh, magic uh, items dropped for my captain. I'm not totally sure. Probably some campaigns will have this effect, but the campaigns which I have played, I don't think it, does, uh, it kind of takes into effect. But they have fixed it anyway, so which is fine. So the main con uh, main thing about this patch over here, it's pretty good actually. So they have uh, fixing some of the stuff for the in the game. So as you can see, this is a huge list over here. And also uh, dark colors, those are animation things anyway. I don't need to go through the one. And then we have some uh, dynamo con uh, Offering a confederation with the uh, Britain factions would be missing text explaining which faction would be confederated. Yeah, I was so pissed off with the one. So uh, it, sometimes it it won't show up. So in my playthrough with the uh, with the Fey and Shutters campaign, uh, things this this thing will happen. I don't know. I don't know which faction I'm going to confederate at the end. So I think that I have seen it once. I think I can remember only once. I have I'm seeing I have seen this one here. But that's a good change. And uh, probably for some of you guys, it won't have up like uh, it would have not showed up showed up but uh, for me it showed up once i remember that one actually so one time i remember that one and then a uh, hammer into anvil skill applying its effects twice so it's to set in a warrior of chaos in it so that's pretty good so they, they have fixed it so uh, reference of uh, linus 
they have changed the uh, civilized section of a technology tree as she had in Warmatu. So they have uh, dialing some things back to uh, Warmatu once for reference details and the gra graphical glitch at the beginning of your technology tree that was meant to show a group around the heraldry section. So they have fixed those things in a way. And then we have script breakage when the upgrade settlements building mission was completed by upgrading an ogre to camp building. So they have fixed that one too. So I haven't played ogre, so I can't able to see what's going on with that one too. And then we have a rare soft lock during the formless horror tutorial when skipping back and forth between sections. So I'm not too sure about this one yet either. Now what is of uh, chaos able to construct ultra buildings in a VG element in the realm of chaos man campaign? So that's kind of ridiculous. They have fixed that one too. And the te technology ferocious plans now take one turn to research for clan molder to bring them in line with the other scheme faction. Yeah, this is fine. So hopefully the AI takes it, uh, like uh, takes this effect into action anyway. So whenever play play my uh, uh, Captain campaign nowadays. So after like a 3.0 patch, so uh, clan mode is kind of uh, useless now. So even in uh, realms of chaos map, realms of chaos map is fine. But in uh, immortal players, so they were pretty aggressive at the start, like uh, in during 1.1 and a 2.1 patch. So I think after 2.0 patch, uh, they kind of uh, dialed down the settings for like uh, dialed down the AI uh aggression towards your faction by a lot and clan molded usually does have like a lot of uh uh garbage unit at the start like a clan clan rats clan rats spears so skaven uh skaven is us for so long so hopefully they will uh i'm not entirely sure about clan molder faction but i think this one will uh give us a lot of uh, uh stops for the yeah yeah escape infection hopefully they will give you a lot of trouble so they nowadays they are giving you a lot of trouble but they have numbers instead of a uh, higher tier unit survey i think this one will give you some uh, some uh, some uh, benefits for the ai faction so if you're playing as a clan molder faction i think this will benefit you a lot too so, so that will give you a lot of time to prepare for catherine so catherine will be on a catherine will be on a huge enemy at the start and also azizel will be here uh who's the one Throg will be there, so there's so many uh, nearby factions over there. So it's in a kind of an a uh, what's what what's that one? Thunderdome. Uh, that's what we call, call them, right? So this area, a uh, clan molder area, is also in the Thunderdome, uh, just like what we have in uh, Southern. Uh, uh, what's that one? Near uh, Crook, not Crook, Gulf Portion in uh, in uh, Cambry, near Cambry, yeah. Similar to the one there, so beastmen will long, no longer receive effects that affect recommend cost as they grant no no benefit to them. Oh, recommend cost benefits. Okay, that's fine. So they have removed the one. So fix to over camps not increasing income from landmark uh, pulled buildings. Okay, that's they have fixed that one too, which is fine. So uh, the patch effects I can't able to test every single of them over here. Hopefully they have fixed everything uh, which they are published over here. Hopefully and uh, the two point zero uh, missile resistance, uh, which I'm not a huge fan of that one. So they have a uh, like a uh, dial down a lot of uh missile units in the uh, in the game as of now so especially uh the volley of chronos is pretty much nerfed uh, as you as you can able to see since i have been a huge fan of uh, volley of chronos so it's so it was so powerful that uh, i totally ne uh, like neglected using uh uh the hawkrider doom hawkrider doom stack for my campaign so it was so powerful nowadays it's, it's not so it just wins winch it just goes through straight line so nothing uh like a in every arrow instead of going to like a uh, covering an entire unit over there they just go through a straight line even the uh the entities within an unit gets knocked on the, the same space like uh, the same space will be uh will be the missile to hit target so that's uh, that's a nerf there hopefully they are, they will fix it soon mm, and the task arrows for in all allied arm a armies are now also hidden mm, i'm not sure what's wrong do mm, yeah what that will do players will no longer receive multiple battle notification uh, notification for the same event one after another building uh building attack message should now stay visible until they are no longer relevant okay attack the messages uh, hopefully i think this will come in handy for us so uh, if you are going through in like a more than 100 turns this will come in handy so i've been playing like a lot of my campaigns in, into the late campaign so like a more than 200 turns 100 turns so uh, this will come in handy for me so we'll check on that one so fix, fixed an instance when uh where ogre contracts would would fail to be issued yeah so this was the, this was the talk after the recent patch so now they have fixed this one ogre contracts they have fixed this one which is pretty good 
the slave paints building now will uh, will now correctly reduce the cost of uh, dictates in the local province that's pretty good too so they are fixing some of the stuff for dockers so this one is dockers uh, this one is dockers too so i don't know about this stuff anyway since i don't play as dockers and they added a preview to for the effects granted from certain dilemmas mm, preview for the effects granted from certain dilemmas there will be a preview uh, that will be interesting so for certain dilemmas we, you can able to see some preview Hmm. I wonder how how it works in there. So fixed an issue where flame cannons would not fire if they had ruin applied to uh, to them pre bow. That's ridiculous. So they have hopefully they have removed the one. Uh, fix some uh, locks during the character rank up for skills tutorial when opening the objective panel or when attacking an enemy. That's pretty good too. Lower of uh, action passive killing fire now plus its full damage as intended instead of uh, only a single tick. Uh, fix the economic jaws icon not displaying correctly in the module cult panel um yeah probably that's pretty good anyway so i haven't seen that, uh, this one on my caldera uh, campaign i'm going caldera campaign which i've been doing, doing for so long uh but i'm not a little sure about the one but since they have fixed it which is pretty much nice so oxidal defeat trade will now currently up uh, correct correctly appear in the character details panel which is pretty good so uh, uh, having a defeat trade uh appearing on the cattle uh, drill panel which is pretty good so even both unique skill celestial administration will now also increase dragon battle shoe gun guns uh, recruitment rank when replacing which is insane so yeah that will increase the uh, dragon battle shoe gun, gun lords are pretty good anyway so if you haven't used them try to use them instead of a magistrate lord they are pretty good they have uh, magic and they get lo jade long what's the one jade long more right so mount so uh, they do have a spell uh, spell casting abilities too and they are kind of okay in fights but uh you need to like cast magic to keep them alive so nakari will now start the campaign with the harvester of uh souls passive ability which is pretty good so since uh, you are pretty much going up against all i helps in uh in the uh, in what in the in the high also uh, i don't know the donut yeah donut in the then donut so that's having that uh, passivity starting with the passivity which is pretty much nice and also boris assess a unique skill grand builder now currently reduces the construction term of religious buildings which will come in handy so now religious buildings won't cost you some of the religion uh, the uh, like the patriarch buildings don't cost you uh what's that one a devotion which is pretty much nice so they are reducing the construction time for boris as any key skill line so which is pretty good so village will now gain bonus for high winds of magic uh, if an army has more than a reserve um, i wonder how it works anyway fix the icon issued by snitches snitches uh, from the shadows uh, skill bearer ability so they are fixing some icon for snitch probably so the vampire coast technology uh lots two toes uh Adley is now currently labeled as uh, deep caster in the unit pan info panel. Oh, I wonder what it is anyway. Vampire Coast, right? So uh, I don't have the Vampire Coast DLC, so I can't able to say anything for the one. Fix the trade gained by being present in Vampire Corruption, not applying a replacement to the entire army. Hmm, that's pretty good too. Fixed the skill uh, skills in magic li magic lines for the light archmage and uh, Zinj Demon Prince not recruiting the current amount correct amount of uh, skills in the previous group. Okay, light archmages so for high elves and zinch demon prince not uh, recurring the current amount of skills in the previous group mm. okay they are uh, fixing the magic lines for light archmage and the zinch in uh, demon prince okay that's fine fixed ma male cathay units not play, uh, playing vocalization when uh, charging okay uh i want to point out a fact for this one here this is the one i want to talk about uh some a bit anyway a bit more so male like a male cathay unit is not playing vocalization when charging so a lot of vocalization now changed uh if you charge with uh let's say if you are charging uh charging with the necropolis knights uh, you will get a uh, you will get uh the voiceover for uh the skeleton spearmen uh those things are happening nowadays so i'm not too sure what they have done so vocalization for a lot of the uh, units in the game has been changed hopefully they will fix it anyway not for that campaign that not for two kings only so for most i think even for rudels uh some of the vocalization has been different from uh, other units anyway it it's not a big deal but sometimes if you are giving uh, like instruction and uh, instruction to a specific unit if you hear here and uh uh different voice over for the specific unit you'll you'll be like a stun for a second right so uh, even uh probably in multiplayer that will be a huge issue anyway so sometimes it, that one second or for like a five seconds uh, thinking will uh, change the battle in, in against your favor probably that's my that's my thought though but uh, for you guys it may be different but uh, i 
sometimes I will be stunned for a couple of seconds there. So whenever I'm charging into some of the issues, those things happen nowadays. And I'm not sure why they haven't fixed it at all. So fixed uh, Thorax Defend Trait, not increasing magic item drop chance. Yeah, that's pretty good. So I have gotten this trait on my, like, uh, on my Krogora as well as with uh, Kalida. I haven't seen any magic item drop chance, uh, like an increased drop chance, magic item drop chance with the, with this DP trait, even though I have defeated him multiple times, times anyway. Fix the Bray Shaman, uh, Shaman heroes not having the many limbed fiend skills, that's pretty good too. Fix the Fire Mage on Sun Dragon, missing the additional 10% percent missile resistance, so that's been pretty good too, so they have fixed it anyway. The Shadow Lich Priest on a Skeleton Horse is now currently leveled as a Shadow Caster in the Info Panel. Yeah, there you go. So they are giving you a Shadow Caster in the Info info panel so most changes are kind of related to this stuff so anyway some ancestral warriors now have the strider attribute so that's pretty good so they don't take a uh, uh, terrain penalty which is pretty much nice so ancestral warriors summon 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 ones fix the eighth book of nagash not further reducing construction costs via the foster ter terror commandment so that's pretty good too they have fixed the eighth book of nagash nagash and the a tomb factions can now recruit the cascade of souls after performing the right which is pretty good so they will uh, recruit uh, those uh, Cascade of Souls that will give you some challenge. Handmaidens of the Everkin uh, now start with the Squeak Silver Shot, a passive ability in campaign. That's pretty good too. So their passive will be uh, uh, will be available from the start of the of your campaign. So for as soon as you locate them as well. Yeah, these are uh, nice good changes, and they are bringing in like a. It's been two weeks since the launch of this patch over here, right? Uh, yeah, number twenty three. Now, oh no, it's been an e. It's been only one week. So what about four point one? So number 21, 23. Okay, that's pretty good. So I, within a week, they are fixing a lot of stuff, which is pretty good, pretty much good. So they, uh, I appreciate the works done by uh, CIA at the moment. So they know, uh, they, they are, they want to like uh, make a lot of changes, like a lot of fixes for this one so that they will get the benefit from uh, the next DLC. The next DLC, which, is, which will be available in like uh, two months time now. So they will have to like uh, uh, get the players uh, uh, players back get the players back and also the uh, players interested into the game so now warhammer 3 is kind of not in, uh, in a big uh, a big uh, uh a big uh, like a, how do you put it in a way so the, it, it has had no interest at the moment so it's kind of a stagnant at the moment yeah it's kind of stagnant at the moment and uh, people are turning into historical total war since uh, uh legend of total war changed to historical total war and a lot of people started changing into like uh, going for back to their historical historical titles favorite titles in a way so now the sales sales are going on and uh, pro yeah i do have rome i have installed total war rome at one point a rome remastered that is but i haven't played it so I played for some hours few hours only but then I went to, to playing uh, Warhammer 3 and uh, also Warhammer 3 and uh, Genshin Bed and uh, Honkai Star. Since I covered a lot of games, right? So I don't play on uh, one total or uh, on the channel. So it's better to like uh, go to uh, other other games. So since we have a lot of stuffs going on with the uh, uh, Genshin Bed and Honkai Star, they uh, they are getting a lot of uh, stuffs uh, updated regularly. Hopefully this will be uh, the trend for Warhammer 3. There are so many fixes needs to be done for Warhammer 3 and. Uh, what, uh, thrones of decay yeah until the uh, thrones of decay uh, dlc we get, until we get the thrones of thrones of D uh, dlc thrones of decay dlc uh hopefully we'll see a lot of fixes coming up uh, and e for each fixes they are doing and anyway, look at this one here they said they they have fixed the medisa one so and they are like changing medisa again yeah so i think uh for each fix there will be a bug popping up here and there so the, hopefully they will uh, crush every single of the bugs not every single of them so some of them are fine but uh, they will be fixing a lot of stuff in a way in the MCAP. A lot of uh, grim baking bugs are still there. Uh, they need to change them. And uh, I have mentioned a few of them too in the in this one. So hopefully they will change it soon anyway. Um, yeah, that's it for me. Thanks for watching. And make sure to check the title and the thumbnail for each video of mine. Uh, so that you guys won't be confused with, with other games which I cover on the channel. And also, hopefully, let me know in the comments below. Uh, are, the ch are the changes, most of the changes are applied in the game or not? Let me know in the comments below. And how well they have changed medisa i'm not going to use medisa so let me know in the comments below i'll see you guys in the next one uh